One of the greatest ways that you can demonstrate your love for God is to just do what he says. He says in his holy word, if you love me, you'll keep my commands. Oftentimes when God has an assignment, a mission, a purpose, a calling on your life, oftentimes he's calling you out of a comfort zone to do certain things. And because he's calling you out of that comfort zone, you have a reluctance to want to do it. And then sometimes you will reject that calling. You will reject that assignment and purpose that God has for your life because you just don't want to do it. It's something that doesn't make sense to you. It's something that you personally don't want to do. So you're not vested in it and you reject God's word. And when we reject God's word, we grieve him. The Bible says we grieve the Holy Spirit when we are disobedient, when we're in sin. And anytime we reject God's word, that's disobedient. We're in sin when we do that. And I get it. When God has a calling on your life, when, when God ask you to do certain things that goes against things that you believe, things that you're comfortable with already, when it goes against those kinds of things in your life, I get it. You, you don't want to do it. But that's your pride speaking. Submit to the authority of God. He knows better than you and I. Look at the prophet Jonah. Now the word of the Lord came unto Jonah, the son of Amate, saying, Arise and go to Nineveh, that great city, and cry against it, for their wickedness is come up before me. But Jonah rose up to flee instead to Tarshish from the presence of the Lord. God gave him an assignment. God had a calling on his life. And he decided to, to go in an opposite direction. He rejected the calling that God had for him. And he had to pay some harsh consequences. Now, thankfully, he came to his senses, but he could have avoided so many challenges, so many consequences as a result of his disobedience. My friends, when will we come to the conclusion that God knows better than us? And I get it. Sometimes the assignment and the calling that God has for us can be inconvenient, it can be uncomfortable, and it can be something, quite frankly, we don't want to do. But it is just better to be obedient to the word of God. The more obedient we are, the more we demonstrate our love to God. He says, if you love me, keep my commands. And the more we're obedient to God's word, the more we have the favor of God over our lives. And the more we have blessings of God saturating our lives. So my friend today, if God has a calling on your life, if God has an assignment for you, a purpose and mission for your life, just do it. God bless.